So yeah, I'm nerdy excited about those. And he was like, he looked in the basket and he was like, that's a lot of pumpkins. Hey guys, welcome back. So got a fun little haul for y'all today. So this is gonna be a Dollar Tree haul. So I have this bag and then a couple of bags down there. So Timothy and I just ran in there the other day for a couple of things and they already had a few little fall things in there. They had some back to school, school supply type stuff, which I love. And then I got just a couple of like one little home decor thing. So I thought I would just do a little haul just for funsies. So let's jump into it. Okay, so first off, this is starting out a little bit boring, but I thought that this was kind of cool. Like, I didn't realize that they have storage boxes there. Now, I mean, it's pretty kind of flimsy, you know? I mean, it doesn't feel like the nicest quality, but I think it feels like it's worth more than a dollar. Like, I would say maybe like, oh, I'm turning the camera all dark. Um, I mean, it seems like a two or three dollar box, and I got it for a dollar, so I got this for putting, like, art kind of supplies in. Um, like I've kind of been getting into like making some chokers and some jewelry stuff. So I thought I would throw that in here and that was kind of like a, an added thing to the cart. I was like, oh, I could use that for my jewelry stuff. So I grabbed myself a little storage box. So the kind of home decor thing that I got is a little floral arrangement. So the area, like the hearth in our living room, is that what it's called? The area around the fireplace, I believe it's called the hearth. Um, our living room is pretty much like blue, teal, a little bit of white, a little bit of brown, and then we have a couple of yellow accents, but I want to add more yellow in our living room and especially like around our hearth. So I got a little yellow vase. I thought that was really cute. And then I just, you know, got a few little flowers. I mean, I'm definitely not one of those chicks that like cares if this looks like it's from the dollar store and they kind of do, but I don't really, I mean, I don't care, you know, because I think they're still cute and I feel like some of them in the dollar store look better than others. So I just kept kind of like looking through and finding which ones didn't look completely flattened. <laughs> So I liked all of these and I thought that they like went well together. So I got that little one and then I got this one. He's a little bit bent, this one. Can you see the little bent one right there? So he's a little bit bent, but that's okay. He was the only one like that. So had to get that one. And then I really like this yellow one. I like that it's more of like a muted creamy yellow versus like a neon yellow. So anyway, I thought that would be a cute little arrangement to put in our living room and just add a little bit more of a yellow pop in there. Some school supply type stuff. I was actually really impressed with their school supply stuff. Like they had some nice looking things. Some stuff looked cheap, but quite a lot of it looked like nice quality and especially like it was, you know, definitely worth a dollar, but it looked a lot of it looked like you could buy it at Walmart. So I was impressed with it. So first off, Timothy got this little like pencil pen, little pouch thingy. So that's something he picked out. And then I thought these pens were really cute. They had one set that said shoulda, woulda, coulda, and then this set says love notes, doodles, and homework, and it's like the two-tone. The other one was, I think, like yellow and green maybe. It definitely had some kind of green in it. I think it, the other color was yellow. But anyway, there was one other set that I saw. Um, I thought these were just really cute, and for some reason this type of pen reminds me of like the 80s and 90s, like from when I was a kid. I feel like this type of pen was around a lot, like obviously not with a little note, not this exact pen, but that type of pen with a little like clicky thing and the silver and the shape of it reminds me of my childhood. So that's one of the main reasons I got it, but I also thought the little words on it were really cute. So I get really nerdy about school supply, like office supply type stuff. I love it. Okay, and then I got some highlighters. I thought these were really cute. I love the pattern on them. It comes with like a kind of chartreuse green one, a yellow one, and then a pink one. And I use highlighters for my regular office type job and I'm always like, I'm nerdy about that. Like making notes and lists and highlighting things and checking it off like the list with a highlighter writing in a planner. I'm not like a big planner, like I don't do stickers and I don't have a really involved planner, but I do like to write notes about things and then highlight them as complete. So yeah, I'm nerdy excited about those. And then these pens, I actually already own a set of these, so I already bought one um, package of them 
and I really like them. Like they write really well and they're kind of thicker pens. They're a 1.0 millimeter. I don't like really fine tipped pens. These are a little bit thicker and they write really well and I really like the pattern on them. I think they're really, really cute and kind of like 80s and 90s looking. So if you, cause sometimes like pens at the dollar store don't write very well, but these, at least the other pack that I bought, they write really well. So I bought another one. And then I thought this was so cute. They had a lot of these like stubbier, shorter um, little spiral notebooks. They also had bigger ones. They had composition books, um, folders, and really cute patterns. So I thought that was adorable. And I like um, a small spiral, spiral, I can't speak, spiral, like this for um, YouTube notes. So like writing down um, what videos I wanna film um, after I film a video, like what makeup I was wearing when I filmed it. So I just like to write um, YouTube notes in a little spiral like this. So I'm already finished, almost finished, not already finished, almost finished with my other one. So I needed a new one and I liked this one with the pattern. And then poor Timothy, I kind of just went pumpkin crazy. <laughs> Our house in the fall time, there are pumpkins everywhere because I love decorating for fall and Christmas time and I just think pumpkins are so cute. So we already have a lot of pumpkins and I bought more pumpkins. Timothy was like, he looked in the basket and he was like, that's a lot of pumpkins. <laughs> yeah, we got a lot of pumpkins. So I got some of these. I got three of this type. So they're, I think they're really nice looking. Like they kind of have like little gold accents on them and they don't feel like, they don't feel like they're made of styrofoam or anything. So I think they're really nice. So I got two of the taller ones and then one like stubbier one. These are so cute, I love them. I don't know why I just got one of these, but I got one yellow. I thought that was really cute too. So these are a little bit different than these. So this has like the little gold accents on them and these, they had um, regular orange ones of these. They had the stubbier little red ones. I love the red ones. And then they had kind of like the mid-sized yellow ones. So I got three <laughs> of the stubby red ones. I don't, I don't know why, I think, I think I like the red because they add more color because there's obviously, since we have a bajillion pumpkins around our house in the fall time, there's a lot of orange. So I like that it can have little, this will add little like red accents to all the orange in our house. And then lastly, I thought these were so nice looking. Like to me, these look like something you would get at like Pier One. Um, they only had one of this color. I probably would have gotten maybe another one of these. I don't know. But I got two of the like regular orangey ones that are kind of a little bit, um, they're not really stubby, but they're stubbier than this one. This one's kind of like a taller sort of a style. So they had the orangey ones and they had the like lighter creamy, you know, gold color. This is more gold than cream, but it's like a, it's not like a yellowy gold. Anyway, it's really pretty. And I think that these look like really expensive. Like I think these definitely look like they were more than a dollar. So. I was really excited about these, but like I said, I probably would have gotten maybe at least one more of these. Maybe I need to go to another Dollar Tree and see what they have there. But I would keep your eyes peeled for these. If you like this kind of like, you know, metally, almost mirrored type of a look, I feel like this is kind of a rare thing to find at the Dollar Tree. So I thought these were really pretty. All right guys, so that wraps up this little random Dollar Tree haul. So I hope that you really enjoyed it. Please give a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what you have been grabbing at the Dollar Tree lately. Have you been picking up any like office type supplies stuff or are you like me and you're getting excited about the fall so you're starting to hunt down some fall decor? I would love to know what you've been getting recently. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!